在这栋 Frank g a r y 设计、有如地震震坏的建筑里，住着麻省理工学院的 C Cell 电脑科学与人工智慧实验室艰深的学术单位。奇怪的建筑，你会以为这里进出的全是一堆阿宅、书呆子。但是，当你看到 C Cell 的主任 Danny Ella Rose 干练的装扮、甜美的笑容，很难想象他是这个全球最尖端科技实验室的掌门人。要接受《文倩世界周报》专访，他扎起了头发，涂上鲜艳的口红，专业经理人的包装下，其实是机器人专家。So much fun! It's creative. It's about making new things that have. Uh, capabilities to improve human life.、Uh, there is so much、uh, excitement uh, in making uh, uh, robotic devices that move. It's. I mean, oftentimes when I have a new robot and it does something for the first time, it's the same kind of joy you have when when your child takes the first step. It's. It's the same with a robot taking the first、uh, step. So I love robots. I've always loved robots. Daniela 不到四十岁就得到被昵称为“天才奖”的麦克阿瑟研究奖。他也是美国人工智能协会、美国电子电机工程师学会院士，同时是美国国家科学基金会直癌奖的得主。办公室满墙的奖牌说明了他的卓越，学术成就非凡，也让他成为 C Cell 成立以来第一位女性领导者。Um, but you know, here at、uh, CCL, my philosophy is that the best companies are the companies grounded in very solid technology. So here at CCL, we like to tackle big problems,、uh, and we have five to ten year time horizon、uh, for the solutions、um, we're, we're going after. And so, if you think about it, you work for five years, ten years on something. You, you really understand the solution. You understand the scope and the field, and then you have something that works. Okay, so if you can then take that and make it matter today, not ten years from today, then that's that's a bonus. And with everything that we do,、uh, we all have the aspiration、uh, that there is the contribution to knowledge, but then there is also the impact today.、Uh, both are important, and as an academic institution, of course. Our objective is to invent new knowledge, and here at CCL, our objective is to invent the future of computing and make the world a better place、uh, through computing. In the process of doing that,、uh, if we can have an impact in the world today, even better. 比较起用在生产线上取代人工的自动化设备机器人 ，Daniela 的团队在机器人的材质和行动力上充满创意。不管是一个可以沿着窗框移动、侦测阳光直接照射，然后开扇遮阳的 Shady， 还是颠覆机器人传统的金属硬冷材质、有柔软表皮、可以在水中游泳的机器鱼。或者是有如变形金刚一样可以任意改变组合的 M Block， 这些小巧同时具备功能性的自动化模组，重新定义了机器人的形与相。We like to use origami and printing processes because with origami you can design everything flat, you can fabricate everything flat, and then we have we have some tools that allow us to. Effectively bake these flat designs so that they grow into three-dimensional objects in the presence of heat, and、um, with that approach,、uh, we can really reduce the amount of time it takes from conceiving the、um, uh, the need for a robot function to actually making that robot. We can make a robot manipulator in two hours. We can make、um, a miniaturized Segway robot in two hours, starting from scratch, starting with nothing. And、uh, and I think it's very exciting.、Uh, you can think about many applications. So you can make these robots small, or you can make them big. You can make them from paper and plastic, or you can make them from metal. If you make them from paper and plastic, then they become very affordable. And we can begin to dream about、uh, school systems where every child has a whole suite of robots that helps them learn about programming and the physical world and math and physics and robotics. And、uh, so one robot per child, or may- maybe many robots per child, becomes、uh, a valid、um, uh, aspiration. You can also make the robots big, 
and then you can uh, support construction and home care and many other tasks. Gichi We are very interested in the idea that uh, non-expert roboticists, anybody, anybody in Taiwan, anybody in the US, um, could be able to synthesize and build their own robot customized to the task that they want to, um, to achieve on demand. What if you could walk into a shop and say, I want the robot to play chess with me. And then um, you could use, uh, you could use a, a design interface that would help you with ideas to finalize your design. And then using uh, 3D printing and, uh, and uh, uh, other rapid printing technologies, that robot could be built for you, fully equipped with the um, electronics, the computation substrate, and the programming. And you could get that in a matter of hours for a very affordable cost. The idea is that right now it takes way too much time to make robots. Mm -hmm. And only experts are able to make robots, and in fact, if I make my own robot and you make your own robot, it will be very hard for me to copy your robot. So there is so much specialized information and knowledge that goes into the making of robots. 这也代表着当机器人形体可以随时复制、搭配知识迅速共享,机器也能分析人类语法,甚至是知识的挖掘和推理后,人机合作将重塑未来生活。so we found that every once in a while the machine would get stuck and we wouldn't know what, what happened. The machine just froze, the robot just froze and the, the assembly was not completed. So then we had the idea of saying, okay, well machines will not be able to do 100% of the cases. There will always be exceptional cases the machines will not be, handle, uh, will not be able to handle. But what if we give them the ability to reason about the error, to figure out what is it that they cannot do, and then to translate that into an, a sentence, a natural language sentence um, that would communicate to the human, hey, I'm stuck here, could you please come to help me? Uh, so then you have a real collaboration between humans and machines. Daniela来自罗马尼亚 my daughter inspired one of our robotic projects. I, uh, she took a robotics class in middle school, and she did very well in that class. But her teacher said to me, well, she spent as much time making and programming the robot as she did um, decorating the robot, making sure the robot looked right. The assignment was to make a biologically-inspired robot, and she did a peacock. So she wanted a robot that could um, drive around and when the robot saw you, it would open this beautiful tail <laughs> to get your attention because that's what peacocks do. Uh, so it occurred to me that, it's, that the aesthetics of, um, of what kids have in their hands to work with actually is important. So we developed a flower garden. And, uh, and the flower garden has a few hundred robots in it. Uh, the robots change color, the robots move, the robots are very colorful. And it's actually, uh, it, it's really quite fun to, uh, to play with it. We've had the flower garden for a year and I don't tire of it, so. Daniela办公室门口,挂着团队研究生送的,防圣经章节但充满编码意向的机器人主宰法则。每天记得城市马仓库,没有模拟就不算实验,昨日的失败要用明日的新模组赢回来。在这个地表最强大的天才竞技场